Find more games like this one on Indie Game Launchpad. Link in the description. Hello once again gamers, I'm JB and this is Lady or the Tiger. Kinda sounds like a children's book, doesn't it? The developer's name is Game Prism Studio and you can find this game on IndieGameLaunchpad.io or itch.io. Let's see, it says, playing modes, play quest, you find yourself in a prison in some castle. Learn what happened and get out by talking with the castle inhabitants and helping them, or not, with their problems. Several endings, about four, depends on who you talk to. Okay, so it's gonna be, it's gonna involve a lot of talking. Play quest. Skip through the dialogues, interact with the objects. Oh, my head, it really hurts, where am I? Try clicking on the screen to focus your eyes. Oh, my head, oh. Let's see. Oh, it's kind of focusing, kind of not. Did I click anywhere? There we go. Now oh, that's much better. I wonder what this place is. Looks like a dungeon. A wall calendar. Examine. It is a wall calendar, and there seems to be some piece of paper behind it. I want the paper. Grab. It will take a, I will take the piece of paper with me. Can I see what the paper says? No? Mysterious book. I can grab it or I can examine it. Listen, grab it. Someone left a book here. I wonder what it's about. Day one, got captured by royal guards and put in into what seems to be a prison cell. Don't know the reasons, though. I'm assuming I didn't write this stuff. Day two, try talking to my guard. He is an orc, and orcs don't really talk much, but he says I owe him something. Day three, the lights went out. I spent the whole day in the dark. Then, by night, the guard came to change the burnt-out torches. I managed to steal one of them and hide it in the empty barrel by the door, just in case. Day four. The guard says there will be a trial soon, and something about guessing the right door? Guessing the right door. Hmm. Day five. Overheard the guard speaking with someone. They were very quiet, and I couldn't make out the words properly. There was something about a challenge for me. The guard dropped a sheet of paper. I didn't have a chance to read it, so I don't know what it was meant for. Hit it behind the wall calendar. Well, we already got that. Cool. So it's a diary left by the last prisoner. Well, let's check the barrel, and we're going to get an odd-looking bar barrel. There seems to be something at the bottom. It's going to be our torch, right? So the prisoner hit a torch in the barrel. It will take it. I will take it with me just in case. Cool. Is there anything else? Burning torch. Well, I can't click on that. Or at least I can, but it doesn't do anything. Okay, let's talk to the orc guard. <laughs> Blah. <laughs> let's examine him first. It seems that there is someone guarding the door on the other side. Okay, let's talk to him. Blah. Cough, knock, say hello. I'm gonna say hello. Hello. Um, hello. Who's there? N nobody who. <laughs> Why does he not know who's in the in the dungeon that he's guarding? <laughs> Me. Nobody. Who are you? Um... Who are you? And who are you? Me? Me, Claw. Dem orc. Claw guard the door. Nice to meet you. Uh, I will say nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Claw. Blah! Guard the door? Why do you need to guard the door? Dis prison. You dem prisoner. Okay, so he does know who I am, then. Claw guard them prisoner for trials. A prisoner? But I don't remember anything. How did I get here? You talk bad about dem kings. <laughs> Kinda says this is Jamaican now. You talk bad about dem kings. <laughs> you talk bad and go to prison. Trial, prison, the king? I will say trial. What kind of trial is that? Claw may not tell the dem, dem prisoner that. Dem kings. Do trials. Dem orcs guard doors. Mm. Prison. <laughs> so if it's a prison, then where are the other prisoners? I'm gonna try a different voice for this guy. There was one. Before you dem prisoner. Bad trial for dem. Tiger's food. Yeah, a little bit deeper there. <laughs> eh, tiger's food? What tiger? Claw may not tell dem prisoner that. The king? Since that's my last option. So you say I talked badly about the king, but I don't remember that. What did I say exactly? Claw may not say that. That was bad words. 
Dem prisoners drink and play cards. Dem not remember. So I was drinking yesterday. That's why I felt so dizzy. You talk bad about Tim King. So Claw hit your head. Oh, nice. You play cards bad. Lose your head to Claw. Cards. Wait a minute. I was playing cards with you? Okay, so you decided that I said something bad about the king, and then you threw me in prison. You shady orc. Yeah, you play them cards. You bet your head that you beat Claw. Claw play good. You lose. Claw wins. Now Claw wants your head. So it's not that I insulted the king. It's that this orc is... Hit me in here. My what? Uh, hmm. This is just my head, but why? <laughs> claw like soup. Claw need new bowl. Dem skulls good bowls. Keeps the soup warm. I'm just reverting back to my previous voice. This uh, actually kind of makes me think of uh, a troll from, from World of Warcraft, the way that they talk. Can't you use some other material for a bowl? <laughs> Why am I trying to reason with an orc? I should be trying to outsmart him. But what? Clay pot, copper pot. Oh, maybe I am trying to reason him. Coconut shell. Well, it's, it's obviously coconuts wouldn't be good because uh, this is a temperate zone. And the coconut's clearly tropical, and uh, there's no way that they would have that. So I'm going to say claw, claw, clay pot. Why don't you take some clay pot instead? I'm starting to make, I'm starting to make myself sound like him. <laughs> claw drop dim things. Clay pot falls. Clay pot breaks. Claw has no soup. Okay, copper pot. Oswald. Uh, there should be a copper pot in the castle, at least. Copper pots make them soups cold. Like... Claw likes soup warm. Claws keep soup warm. Okay, coconut shell. <laughs> mm, what about some coconut shell? Claw have no coconut. Claw de Mork. <laughs> okay, no idea, obviously. There should be some other way. Claw want big skull. Your skull is big. Claw wait to trial. Then prisoner lose. Claw take the skull. And <laughs> if I win the trial? Claw no have no skull then. Then prisoners lose. Many, many skulls. Well, if he has so many skulls, why does he need mine? <laughs> Claw won't find big skull. Oh, he, he needs a big skull. Apparently, I have a big head. <laughs> but Claw may not leave. Claw guards the door. And what if I help you bring you a big skull? Am I offering to slaughter someone and lob their head off so that he can hollow it out and make it a... Okay, I'm just... Anyway. <laughs> Claw need think. Bigger skull, I promise. Open the door. I need to think too. Bye. Let's talk bigger skulls. In fact, I could try to find you an even bigger skull than mine. Just think about that. More soup. Now that we're getting, now we're getting somewhere. This is the way you reason with an orc. Mmm. More soup. He's liking it. Uh, and then I say, I promise. I'll say, I promise to get you a new skull, even if I win the trial. Otherwise, if I do win, this means no soup for you. Claw one soup. Okay, and then open the door. Well, if I leave the room, I would surely find a nice skull for Claw. Claw want the skulls. Claw's hungry. <laughs> hey, Claw, I promise I will bring you a bigger skull. Claw's hungry. Claw wants soup. But if you have to open the door to let me out. Okay, it's okay. It's Claw opened the door. But Claw won't watch them prisoner. Them prisoner promise. Claw remember good. Okay, so apparently the order of which I answer the questions matter. That's good. Because I was a little concerned there for a second. Okay, I can exit the room. Oh, he's not so menacing. <laughs> he scratches his butt. What? Okay, to the right wing, to the left wing. Let's go right. There's a portrait on the wall. Let's see what this says. This guy looks like a king. And this one looks like a princess of some sort. Glasses. And let's see what's in here. Oh. He's a cheery looking fellow. Oh, he's a headsman. <laughs> okay. Wow. Hello, hmm, Mr. Headsman. It's Brian for you, man. You can call me Brian. Alright, Brian. You don't need to be so darn official with a person who's gonna chop off your head anyway. <laughs> I'm not at work. Day day off? Are you you having a day off or a vacation due to your professional burnout? <laughs> nah, my friend. I don't work here anymore. Yep. Well, what are you doing here? Me and my sweet Matilda were left out of job. Given a boot, I would say. 
In companies, they call it optimization. Hmm. Oh, did you just think that? Thanks to the tiger, it's the kitty who does the executions now. Not good for old Brian. Okay, so they throw all their executions to the to the tigers. Matilda, is that your girl on the portrait? Uh, nope, that's my axe. What? Huh? <laughs> it's Matilda. Oh, as I call it, his axe is Matilda. <laughs> okay, Matilda, axe Matilda, Carl. Uh, before her, I had Dinah. Diana, Rosie, Lena, don't quite remember them all. But no one really liked Matilda, no one. Uh, okay. Is he talking about women or weapons? Oh yeah, I'm confused too. The girl, the job. Let's, uh, let's just talk about the job. What about your job? Why were you fired? I love my job. The head chopping stuff. Uh, but old El Ray found a new pet who does all the fun now. The tiger? Ah uh, yes, fluffy toothed guy is responsible for the executions now. Old Brian is left out of the job and Matilda is getting rusty. That sounds sad. If I could, I'd kill him, but I cannot. Strangely enough, uh, there needs to be a U there. <laughs> Just saying. Uh, old El Rey loves his toothy furball. Is El Rey the king? If only there would be some non-violent way to get rid of the bastard. But forget it, I don't know any non-violent ways of solving problems. That's not my strong point. In companies, they call it professional deformation. <laughs> deformation. And the girl. And who's the girl in the portrait? Uh, she, Elray's daughter, Princess Mary. She looks a bit different in this portrait. Yes, I do some... <clears throat> I do know some other sides of her. I'm in love with her. Oh, okay. The headsman and the princess. How romantic. <laughs> Did you tell her? Yes. But we can't be together here. She will marry a prisoner. She will marry a prisoner who wins the trial. That's what old Ray Ray wants. Zogmog drama. So, <laughs> no one ever won? Eh, puzzles are pretty tough. Old El Ray knows his stuff, and Mary, if she could, uh, she only could run away with me. Is there any way I could help? I would note for her on the back side of this portrait. Perhaps you could take it to her secret place. That sounds like a spy story. We should be, uh, she used to be hiding notes behind the king's portrait in the corner. If you put it there, maybe she'll find it. Okay, Brian, I can't promise you anything, but I will see what I can do. Thanks, man. Uh, bye. So, oops, I skipped that part, sorry. Bye, man, good luck with the trial, okay. Uh, exit. I gotta go over here and put the portrait. This is it, right? Portrait of King Elray. I thought I could put the note there. That's a secret place, right? Oh, oh, there we go. I will take this with me. Oh, all right. It's an axe. It's Matilda, Brian's axe. I thought he said he had a note for me that I would put behind the portrait. Maybe I misunderstood. So the left wing it says. To the room. Oh, it's the king. What's the king doing in a, in a pile of skulls? Let's see what the pile of skulls is here. Wow, is there a war or something? And my kitty, of course, your majesty. Majesty, yes, they do call me like that in this country and in this castle, too. My name is Elray, young man. But you can call me your majesty if you wish. Logic, kitty, what are you doing here? I'm going to ask, what are you doing here? Forgive my curiosity, your majesty, but what are you doing here? Just wondering, my boy. Just wondering. This pile reminds me of a piece of a Russian painter. By Russian painter. I love art, you know. For sure. Okay. Logic. A war of logic? What kind of war is that? It's a very personal battle, my boy. Every prisoner of this castle has to go through this when he's ready. Your time will come soon, too. A pile of unfortunate guys. I don't really... You will understand that later, my boy. You see, in this country, talking badly about the king, that's me, usually ends up with an execution. But I didn't talk badly, the orc lost at card, or he won at cards, or something like that, and ended up me putting me in here. I got really bored with that. I adore logic puzzles, and I would like others to enjoy them with me. How cute. That's why I introduced the trial, an opportunity for every prisoner to save himself. Solve the puzzle, guess the right door, and you go free. Like all these... 
marketing things, you know? Okay. And what if I choose the wrong door? Then the kitty will have a nice lunch. Hmm. Kitty? Uh, who's this kitty you're talking about? Oh, it's my pet tiger. I call him like that. However, prisoners prefer other names, but you wouldn't like to know that. <laughs> I guess, right? Yeah. Anyway, most of them end up here. Okay, goodbye. Wonder if I can get a better skull. I better go now. Come back when you are ready, prisoner. And for logic's sakes, bring a torch. There's no light in the trial room. I don't want you to break your neck. Well, I already have a torch. Pile of unfortunate guys. Small skull. There's one too small for claw. I should find a bigger one. Well, I don't really think there's anything left for me, else left for me to do, so... Have you found a torch already? Yes. Yes, I have. Hmm? Yeah, I found it. Very good indeed. Then give it to me. Why would I give it to you? I'm supposed to use it later. How do I... I told him that I found it, and then he said, give it to me, and then I could... Yeah, I found it. Very indeed. Then give it to me. I don't... I can't give it to you! I don't know how to give it to him. Let's go back in my room and see what's on here. Nothing there. Nope. Princess Mary portrait, torch. Use with examine. Let's examine. Ooh, okay. I didn't realize that I had this. How to make a cat happy. First, find a cat, then find some catnip, or someone has some catnip, or else who knows where to get it. Orcs may know. Orcs may know. The catnip looks like this. Give catnip to the cat, profit. Okay, so I should ask the orc. Where to find catnip, maybe. See what happens. I want to ask you something. About catnip. Catnip. There we go. Uh, Claw, you mean to tell me about... Can you tell me about catnip? Do you know how to make it? Claw knows them catnip. Catnip make them cats happy and sleep. And Claw has them paper. Claw makes catnip. But Claw no make no catnip for them prisoner. Claw may not. I can use this, right? I can give it to him. Oh, that's how I give stuff to him. Okay, good to know. But claw no make no catnip dim prisoner. Claw may not. So it just cannot make... Probably because I don't have the skull that I need for him. Well then how do I... Don't think it's a good idea. Better hide it behind her portrait. Oh, okay. Hide it behind her portrait. I think I'm supposed to do this. There we go. Hope the Princess Mary will find the note here. Okay. Hey, that's how I figured that out. Great. See, I wonder if the headsman knows about a skull. Ryan? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Not in the mood for talking. Not in the mood for talking. Why are you in the mood for talking? What the crap? Why? Why? It's, uh... I can't really do anything with the cat catnip recipe. I can't get the catnip. Let's just see what happens if I give the torch to, uh... Because now we know how to give it. Let's see what happens here. I see you found a torch, my boy, but it's of no use like that. Get some fire to light it up. Okay. Oops. Fatal error. This should not happen. Cancel. Ah, and it crashed. Damn it. Let's bring it back up. All right, so we came back to the same point that we were at with the, uh, with the torch. And I didn't do some of the other things, so I don't know how it's going to affect the end result here, but we're going to try it again see if it works. So I say yes. Okay, I found it. Good, then give it to me. And... Perhaps you can use something to light it. So how do I... Use use with burning torch. And now I'm ready to bring the light. Okay. There we go. Thank you, young man. Good, now I have a torch. Now we can bang the trial. Are you ready, prisoner? Yes. Hopefully my prior knowledge of my first playthrough will help me here. I have no idea. I don't have the catnip. I don't know how to do that. Yeah, I'm ready. Bring it on. And follow me. I have a bad feeling about all this. Welcome to my trial room, prisoner. Please excuse the mess. It's a little untidy here. Yeah, well. <laughs> I didn't have time to put the signs with the instructions on the doors either. That's why I just give them to you. Okay. So what signs? What signs are you talking about? Those two you already have in your inventory. I already have in my inventory. 
What signs do you those two you are having? I don't have anything in my inventory. <laughs> doors. What are those behind? What are behind these doors? Behind one of them, there is your freedom. Uh, and behind the other is your misfortune. Riddles again. What do I do? Tell me what I do. So what do I do now? You should examine carefully each sign I gave you. You may find them in the inventory. Okay. Uh, read what's on what's written on them. These signs are the key to your safe escape from there. Okay, got it. But which sign goes on which door? I needn't tell you. You can solve this problem without information. Riddles, riddles. It is your task to decide which one, which is, oh, sorry, which is which, and pick a door afterwards. If a lady comes out, you win, and you are free to go. If there is a tiger, well, I suppose you wouldn't really like to know that. You bet. But how do I know the signs will tell the truth? The truth of the sign depends on the door. Okay, now it's the riddle starting to get a little complicated. For the left room, it's like this. If a lady is in it, then the sign on the door is true. Okay, but if a tiger is in it, the sign is false. I have to remember that. For the right hand room, the situation is the opposite. A lady in the room means the sign on the door is false. And a tiger in the room means the sign is true. Different rules for different colors, or different doors, colors. But it is possible for it is possible that both rooms contain ladies or both rooms contain tigers. That would be epic, really. Uh, for or that one room contains a lady and the other a tiger. Splendid. Uh, I feel like this is that riddle where you can ask a question, but that you don't know if the person's from the town of liars or the town of truth tellers. Okay, let's see what's in the inventory first. Guess it's time to get started with this puzzle now. As you wish, my boy. You can ask me for a hint any time. Good luck, prisoner, and may the logic be with you. So you have a door sign. This room contains a tiger. And this probably one says, this room contains a lady. Th or both rooms contain tigers. Well, to be honest with you, I think both rooms contain tigers. <laughs> <laughs> Gave me two signs. They can. This room contains a tiger. Both room contain tiger. Well, here's the thing: is. Oh wait, he was talking about the tiger. This this door here says that if there's a sign on the door. Oh, this is hard. The signs. I didn't quite about the sort. Do they tell the truth? That depends on the door. Rules for the doors are different. For the left-hand room, so this left-hand room, okay, if a lady is in it, then the sign on the door is true. Okay, so either one of those, if there's a sign on it, then it can be, then it cannot be, then it has to be false, right? Okay, but if a tiger is in it, the sign is false. Well, then that would make them both false. Right? Because you say the tiger is in this room, you put that on the door, the sign would be false if the tiger was in it. But the sign can't be false because it says a tiger is in the room. You see how that works? Okay, got it, but what about the right door again? For the right hand room, the situation is the opposite. A lady in the right hand room means the sign on the door is false. Okay, so then I could just put a tiger is in this room on there. Uh, but it's not true if the sign is... Hmm. And a tiger in the room means the sign is true. And how does that... Oh, and by the way, it's possible that both rooms contain ladies or both rooms contain tigers. Or that one room contains a lady and the other a tiger. That's complicated! <laughs> God... Why did you have to make it so complicated? Because it's a trial, my boy. It's a battle of logic. You'll have to use your brains to win. I guess so. I mean, I'm under the impression that both rooms contain tigers. May the logic be with you, prisoner young. Because, I mean, if I put... If I put this room contains a tiger on the right door, then that means it contains a lady. But it doesn't necessarily... It doesn't mean that because it doesn't have anything to do with the sign on the door. It has to do with the contents of the of the room 
However, if the root contents contain a tiger, then the sor then the then the door sign is false. I'm gonna go. <laughs> this is confusing. I'm gonna go with putting. Can I even can I even do this? I'm gonna go with the right door. I guess I just use the right door. I have. Okay. <laughs> you solved the puzzle. Oh. oh my goodness, that was so confusing. <laughs> I mean, that wasn't a total guess, okay? Because I was assuming that so for the for the left door, no matter what sign I put on the door, there would be a tiger in that room. I I understood that, but I thought that there was no way for the right hand door to have anything I mean it's a possibility of it having either a girl or a tiger I mean obviously it had a girl in it but it had the only it had only a chance of having a girl in it whereas the left hand door had a had certainty if I put if both signs on the doors they both contain tigers so you know they were good one was the 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 issue was having the sign whether the sign being true or false mattered to which or what am I trying to say here if the sign on the door translated to what was in the room where that was never really confirmed it was more like what was in the room confirms what's on the sign but it doesn't necessarily mean that what was on the sign confirms what's in the room you know what i mean i hope that that makes sense <laughs> well it doesn't matter i got it right uh i suppose i had just a 50 50 chance anyway <laughs> that was fun i mean i had fun playing that it was definitely just oh hard to do the lady in the left-hand room means it's not... Oh, this is an explanation. Oh my goodness, okay. The lady in the left-hand room means the sign which should be on that door is true and a tiger is in it means the sign would be false and that the reverse is true for the right-hand room. Suppose the sign, this room contains a tiger, where on the door of the room one, if the lady is in the room, the t sign is false, violating the conditions, like I was saying. If the tiger is in the room, the sign is true, which again violates the conditions. So that the sign can't be on the first door. No. It must be on the second, which means the other sign is to be put on the first door. The sign belonging on the first door must... Door thus reads, both rooms contain tigers. Oh, because it has to be false, because the one on the right contains a lady. Ah, I get it. Okay. And then it goes on to explain a little bit more. All right, I, I, I understand. I think I get it. And I'd like to see the other options. Apparently, there are four different endings. Sounds cool to me. This is the lady or the tiger. I had a lot of fun with it. I don't necessarily have any recommended changes. I think the game's perfect just the way it is. Maybe just a couple of spelling errors, like with enough, neither, neither you. But I mean, honestly, I think it's great. It definitely racked my brain, like my head hurts. The name of the developer again is Game Prison Studio. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and like the video down there. If you have any comments or any feedback for the developers, be sure to drop it down below. Again, you can find this game on IndieGameLaunchpad.io or itch.io. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next video. Keep on gaming, gamers.